All right, this is a couple of open box reviews for a couple of compact tasers, stun, stun guns type thing. So, yeah, first one is a smack. This actually will fit on your key ring. Six million volt stun gun is what it's rated. And, uh, yeah, like I said, this will this will be a good one for your key ring. And I bought these, you know, for myself and uh, my wife. So right off the bat, your little instruction manual. Basically, that's that's it there. The model is SMK 6000 BK dash PK. Um, the instruction manual. Basically, I'll read off of it. Uh, charging the batteries first. First thing, right off the bat, you want to charge the battery it comes with a little holster like this so there's your little ring to put on your key ring there's the plug slides out to plug it in a AC charger um, I'm not sure if there's another accessory for a car charger uh, maybe there is maybe there isn't I didn't look into that um, Extreme warning, uh, keep out of reach of children, because, yeah, this is a mean little toy, especially at 6 million volts, I'm sure it'll do some damage. That's the Smack 6 million, is that what it says? Yeah, I'm kind of doing this from upside down here, so, uh, little switch, there's your flashlight, bright little LED light, um, and the red light on the side is your taser, so, Push a little button on the side, and there you go. Little jolt sounds pretty mean, but uh, yeah, if you don't uh, have mace or you don't, you know, you don't think mace is effective, this will do the trick. All the re reviews that I've read, uh, this is one of the uh, highest reviewed or highest rated um, miniature stun guns. So again, put it to the light switch and off. So there's only two settings on it. Pretty pretty simple. You grab it, get it to that right red light, and bam! You're tagging somebody if they're attacking you. So really neat. It's uh, heavy duty. Uh, it's kind of a rubberish plastic. It's, it's kind of grippable. At least I can I can grab it. You know, it's not not real slick. Um, not made of uh, the aluminum, the uh, aviation strength aluminum like some of the other models I've reviewed are. So this is more of a heavy duty plastic, you know, drop it, it's, uh, you know, seems to be shock resistant for falls or whatever, but uh, yeah, again, you know, for your key ring, this is one of the reasons I got that for something mobile to carry with me if, uh, or my wife. And then, you know, again, let it charge eight hours, I believe is what it says. Uh, yeah. Do not test fire the stun gun, uh, you know, for more than one second. This will damage the unit or avoid the warranty. So there you go. Something to know. Um, yeah, eight hours time. Uh, overcharging can damage the unit apparently. So I guess there's no automatic cutoff. So uh, yeah, I mean it's already got a charge on it. So I'll have to do some research as to when you know it's fully charged, unless you just go by the time frame. LED flashlight used frequently. Um, let's see, just reading here, um, yeah, using the flashlight will make the stun gun weaker, um, if the unit's not charged, so, yeah, that tells you how to use a flashlight and again how to test the stun gun, so, yeah, we've already done that, so, there you go, there's one right off the bat, so, yeah, I'll just get this one out of the way for now and we'll check out the next unit again smack six million volt version so this one is a smaller um, this is uh, rated at eight and a half million volts tactical stun gun flashlight police force so uh, yeah we'll check this one out yeah, this one comes with a little belt holster um, that's actually the belt holster for this one that you can carry with you if you don't want to put it on your keyring. by the way. 
and uh, another little metal clip. Um, all right, right off the bat, instruction manual. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Got the little police engraving on it. This is the SWPF 8500RB slash RG. And the instructions are tiny. So, like a font of 0.5 or something. I don't know, but it's really hard for me to read. So, yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this. So I think, uh, yeah, same charging unit like the uh, baton ones that I got that we took to Mexico for... Uh, my brother-in-law's restaurant, which those apparently are uh, pretty uh, pretty effective units. So, yep, yeah, this is your charger. Plugs into the back like that. And it's got an on-off switch. And let's see. The... Yeah, there's your flashlight. So this must be the stun gun. Maybe not. Yeah, I'll have to do some checking on that one. Maybe it just needs to be charged. But yeah, the flashlight its pretty bright, so uh, let me see. Uh, it's just middle selection, I guess, and then yeah, that should trigger it, and I'll have to check on that. Maybe it does need charged, so yeah, hold on. Let me see here. Yeah, all right, I've got it charging for a little bit, so I'll continue the review. So right now, that's what's going on. We'll see if we can get the taser portion to work here in just a bit. All right, let it charge for a little bit. Uh, actually, the position for the stun gun is, for the switch, is pushing it to the bottom uh, selection here. So yeah, I just want to make sure your switch on the back here is on. Move the light switch from the flashlight mode to the very bottom selection. So middle is your base off position basically for the flashlight and the stun gun. Again, bottom position like that. And then here's your button for the stun gun. Just like that. So yeah. 8.5 million volts is what this one is rated for. Let's see, yeah. Yep, eight and a half million. So, uh, yeah, and again, it's got the little uh, holster for a wrist. My hand's pretty big, so it barely fits. That's actually not too bad. Other ones were kind of small. Um, but, yeah, the hole is big enough where you might be able to slide something in for, like, a key ring. Uh, but chances are, you know, you probably just want to keep it in the little holster like this. Go ahead and, eh, glad I wasn't touching it. Yeah, that's, that thing is real sensitive, just like that. I mean, just barely touching it and it's going off. So, turn it off to be safe. Then, put it in a little holster like that. So, it's got the little belt loops. And, uh, yeah, a little Velcro here, actually. So, it's not too bad. A little Velcro strap and... Uh, Yep, there's your belt loop. I was going to say, where is that at? So, yep, slide your belt through the loop right there. And, uh, you know, your little ring, if need be. But, yeah, this is kind of flimsy. You don't want to carry it like this. It'll easily be yanked out. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Belt strap. There you go, just like that. Then it won't come flying out. So, once you get the Velcro looped around the stun gun, you're good to go. But, uh, yeah, I like, I actually like this one. Just have to be careful not to leave it in the down position and have it on by accident. And then, bam. <laughs> so, yeah. So both of these units I bought through uh, um, securitysuperstore.com. I'll put the uh, website link in the description there. And uh, none of these turn, actually. So I'm going to turn this back off. I'm going to let it charge some more. But uh, yeah, there you go. Two different uh, versions, uh, miniature stun guns. And this is the, yeah, this is made of the heavy grade uh, aircraft aluminum. So yeah, it's 
definitely, you know, heavy duty for, you know, in case you drop it, but yeah, that's pretty pretty neat thing, but you know, if you're walking a beat or whatever, you know, it's not too you won't be walking like that for the most part. You'll probably have it in your holster, you know, like this. You know, strapped up and all, so about yeah, like that. So yeah, pretty neat. So yep, there you go. Couple of couple of small taser stun guns uh, for quick review. So like I said, this is just a quick open box, you know, quick run through of the instructions, you know, which again are pretty pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory if you can read them. And um, yeah, you know, I would, uh, I recommend, I bought from this uh, company before, so there you go. There's your case for the smaller one for the key ring if you don't want to keep it on your key ring. And uh, yeah, so yeah, these will be for our use here and one for myself, one for my wife, and uh, yeah, keep us protected since we don't have guns. You know, these are probably the next best thing. So, there you go. Hope that helps you out if you're looking for a stun gun. Uh, something small, you know, compact, lightweight, easy to use. So, and uh, that's about it. So, thanks for watching.